Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Muhammad here. So this is a uh, Muhammad minute. You know, in life, you got to take the first step. Taking the first step is knowing what you don't know. So, you know, I just woke up right now, so excuse me. But, you know, once you admit that you really don't know a lot of things, you can come to find the answers to the unknown right because knowing that you don't know something is the first step to knowledge you know half of all knowledge is knowing that you don't know the other half of all knowledge so this oxymoron this uh you know way of thinking can change your life if you apply it in the proper way and the proper way is to seek help you know oftentimes myself included we get caught up in the world so much that we don't want to admit that we are lost you know because everybody is making you know everyone is giving life meaning as they go along and to give life meaning you have to find the right motives that drive you right so a lot of people it can be the motive of making more money why because you know that you don't have x amount of money that you know you might have calculated all right so you know i calculated that my monthly expenses are this much so i need to make at least this much to stay at a comfortable position in terms of your confidence in terms of how you look in terms of all of these things so knowledge can be seen as your tool that can bring about fundamental change for the people around you right just like money so when you set up on a quest to gain knowledge you have to figure out exactly where to go and to know where to go you have to know where not to go, right? So, on a quest for knowledge, you can't, you know, go towards a dead end. You can't go towards things that might confuse you, right? Because knowing that you don't know something, you can maybe attempt to garner more information, you know. You can attempt to find the right resources to take you one step closer into gaining that knowledge right like if you want to know about stocks and you have a hundred thousand dollars sitting in the bank are you going to give it to a you know a trust fund not a trust fund what is i don't even know but whatever those money marketing you know money like asset management whatever that is would you give it to them for a two percent profit would you just close your eyes and just throw your money at random stocks and hope for a 50% profit but you know you're 50 times more likely to end up with zero dollars if you go about that route right or the third way is to know the things you don't know about the market which is a lot and slowly try to learn as best you can right so if the people you give your money to for the account if they're kind enough to have you sit down with them and walk you through what they do then you would be doing what they're doing yourself right and you'd be making 30 25 20 percent profit on your returns rather than a two percent safety net right a guaranteed safety net of two percent over a 12 month period so these three choices you can come to find um they all depend on your comfort level if you're more comfortable taking a higher risk then by all means you can learn it on your own and the reward will be as sufficient as the risk 
right? So, think of what I just said, or don't, it's up to you. This has been a Muhammad Minute. Thank you.